It was a beautiful day to talk about death. Yes, these dozens of people gathered in the spirit of the end of life's journey. And while it's not unusual to have people come together because of death, this wasn't a funeral, but rather a celebration of mortality. When I heard there was a festival centered around death and dying in the month of October in a cemetery, I thought probably spooky, creepy, but actually at the Last Call Festival in Bell Fountain Cemetery, their objective is the exact opposite. So the festival came about because I've had the honor and privilege of going to other festivals similar to this on both coasts, right? So it's not a new concept to me, but it's bringing together a large group of people to educate the community on end of life options because here in St. Louis, we have so many great options and not a lot of people know about them. The festival is a day to discuss our inevitable earthly departure, so that when the day comes, either for our loved ones or ourselves, we're as prepared as we can be. But how many aspects of dying could there possibly be? Turns out, death is much more complex than taking that last breath. So our death positive wheel here has 16 different topics on here, and they're all related to death in different cultures and things like that, so they're all historical things. Tell me what you got. Si oh, oh, oh. Coffins of Ghana. The coffins of Ghana. Okay, so in Ghana, which is a country in Africa, they make very elaborate, beautiful coffins related to who the person was, what their occupation was, or what their favorite thing was. There's of course your funeral. Do you want to be cremated or have a casket or a natural burial? And what do you want to happen to your earthly belongings? Better yet, what do your loved ones want you to do with your earthly belongings? And what about leading up to your death? There's so many options, again, that I feel like people don't think about until they're in that unfortunate situation where they do have a loved one that needs to go on hospice. And then hospice might make them have a negative feeling that they don't even realize. So they might wait too long for hospice. Whereas if we talk about that years in advance, we already know what hospice is, we know the benefits of it. If you don't have to be a terminal patient to be talking to or working with an end-of-life planner and an end-of-life doula. In addition to hospice, there's palliative care, advanced directives, lots of decisions to make. At the festival, there were representatives from various organizations that presented on options and how to prepare for these inevitable decisions. There were even conversations around what happens when you're long dead and gone. I am a paranormal investigator. So today I will be doing a presentation on understanding life and death through paranormal investigation. But a lot of what has happened in the world of paranormal investigation came from people trying to understand what, what comes next, if something comes next. And it, you weren't expecting it, that's scary. There is a lot of fear associated with death and dying, mainly because of the uncertainties. Not just for the people who pass, but for the loved ones they leave behind. The last call organizers say that having these conversations early will help ease some of that fear. And by early, I mean even as young as my three-year-old daughter here, who's enjoying a book about the death of a bird. You, uh, can I ask how old you are? I'm 25. Okay, yeah. so 25 you're not necessarily thinking about <laughs> what's no. going to happen when I die, right. what kind of funeral do I want, right. is that like a topic of conversation at all with your peers? Yeah, definitely. You I think so? I, think, I mean, well, we talked about it in school. We went to Catholic school oh, and okay. that's, you know, you you guys planned. We planned our funeral yeah. in religion class. Really? Yeah. yeah. Death is like one of the most unifying things about being human and I think getting a chance for all of us to like learn about death and learn about how you can celebrate death is a good way to kind of put like a very positive spin on it and not let it be this like impending doom and gloom kind of thing. So the thought is, is that if we reflect on our life and death, 
now, today, that that gives us today a better opportunity to do exactly what we want to do with this day. So it's important to have those conversations, uh, not just with yourself, but with your loved ones and that they know where your head's at on end-of-life options that you would want. For Living St. Louis, I'm Brooke Butler.